Hi, I'm Haley Bullman, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your new ISBA profile. First, you'll want to go to iowabar.org, the ISBA website, and you'll want to make sure you're logged in. Um, member login is over here at the top right on a mobile device. You can click on the main menu um, at the top right and scroll all the way down to the bottom for member login. If you're already logged into the site, you can access your profile by going to membership and then in the drop down, go to my ISBA. So we'll go ahead and log in and it'll take you to your profile page and you'll see there are some quick links here. Um, I will show you um, and kind of walk you through this page, but the main things um, that we want to make sure are updated right away today are going to be your um, photo or headshot and your email address. So go ahead and click on update my profile and you'll see there's quick links to um, sections of this form up here at the top. So if you want to get to one of those sections, you could just simply click on that and it'll take you to that part of the form. Make sure that your you know, name and contact information is correct. You can put in a separate address for billing and mailing and choose what's publicly displayed, which is great. You can also put in a um, professional and personal email address and select which one is your primary for ISBA communications. And feel free to put in any other information here as you see fit. Uh, you'll see if you scroll down to the bottom, this is where you can at any time manage your login information and update that. And when you're done, you just simply click Save Changes and it will show you a screen that confirms that your changes have been made. From here, I'll show you, you can go into that My ISBA. And I wanted to show you a couple things here. So um, starting up here at the top, you'll have Upcoming Events, which is our main ISBA calendar. If there are events that you've registered for, your events will show up under My Events tab. Uh, for any sections or committees you might be involved in or following, their announcements are going to show up here. There's quick links that take you directly to where you might be going, and you'll also be able to see any CLEs that you've completed in this tab. In the quick links tab, the one thing I do want to show you that's pretty cool is this email opt-in or out. So if you click that, you'll see you are directed to a page where you can opt out of all ISBA correspondence. Um, if you aren't currently receiving the Iowa Lawyer Weekly email communication every Wednesday and you want to, you can turn that on or vice versa, you can turn it off. If you want to receive the email when the Iowa Lawyer Magazine is available for the month, you have the option to manage that in that section there. Um, down here, you'll see um, any recent payments you might have made or invoices due. Um, the sections or committees that you're a part of will show up here um, under My eCommunities. And then any of your recent um, purchases, you can view in this box here. So that is how to set up your new ISBA profile. Again, definitely want to make sure your email address is up to date and update a headshot photo that will make your colleagues or fellow section or committee members um, be able to find you and contact you um, much more easier with your headshot and contact information um, right there showing up in the member directory. And I hope this was helpful. Obviously reach out if you do come up with any questions and take care. Thanks.